Hello everyone, my name is Emily. The channel is one at a time. Today I'm making a tent bag. Okay, I've taken measurements of my tent when it's all packed up, ready to go in the bag. And it's 18 inches around and 30 and a half inches long. I'm gonna add some ease. That means the bag will be a little bit bigger than the tent. I need one inch longer on the length and two inches on the circumference. And then I need a seam allowance. That's to take up the, the fabric that will be taken up in putting it together. So I need one inch for the round, a one inch on the bottom, and I'm going to do a casing at the top of two inches. So I need a rectangle cut out of my ripstop fabric that's 21 inches by 34 and a half inches. So here's my ripstop fabric. I'm just going to lay it out and get it cut. As you can see, this fabric will fray quite a bit, so I need to take that into account. As soon as you cut it, you need to be ready just to sew it right up, right away. Put the fabric wrong sides together because we're doing a French seam, which means we're going to enclose it. And what I use is, you can use these Wonder Clips. These are really cool and you can get them at the fabric store or you can use clothespins because I don't want to make holes in this fabric. So all I'm going to do is just flip it together so that I can take it to the sewing machine and sew it. I'm going to be sewing along this edge and then this will be the bottom right here. I'm going to have the selvage edge be the top where I will put the casing the drawstring for the bag. So now I need to trim the seam just a little closer. After trimming the seam, the next step is to turn the bag. So I've got the seams just pinned so they're not going to slide around and I'm going to do a half inch seam allowance around that edge. All right, the bag is sewn. This is the inside, so, well, it could be. You could leave that as the outside too, but it looks nicer inside for this. So push those corners out. So now it's time to make the casing. Um, this has the selvage edge on it, so I don't need to finish that edge. And I'm going to just leave it open where the string will come out to do the drawstring. It's just a simple, it, simple way to, to do that. And I'm gonna do about an inch casing. So I'm just gonna measure and clip and measure and clip again. Now I'm just going to take some satin ribbon and put a, just thread it through my casing. I like to do that with a pin on the end. It makes it a little easier to push it through. And I will just tie a knot here. There we go. Tent bag done. That's going to be nice. It'll slip on the tent really well. So I will leave measurements in the description box below and you can adapt it to probably any size tent just uh, with those measurements, making sure you give enough ease for the tent to be able to slide in. The other thing is, is that you could put a little toggle type thing on the drawstring. I just find that um, it adds a little bit of weight and this works just fine uh, for us. We haven't had any trouble. Also, I would have preferred a grain ribbon rather than a satin 
because the grow grain will keep that slip knot better than the satin, but satin is what I had on hand, so that's why I used it. And either one is a really lightweight alternative. So till next time, everyone, happy trails, eat more potatoes, wear wool, and ask for USA lamb and beef at your local grocery store.